Hey Life Hack number two, welcome back to Natural Nail Tarot. These are my natural nails and this is Tarot. We're going to jump right into your reading. Thank you, Spirit, for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher, for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you, angels, for always being around, guiding me, loving me, supporting me, and protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring Life Path number two's energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, Spirit. And I know it seemed like I didn't shuffle a lot of times, but I pre-shuffle my cards before I even start recording. So, that's that. All right, life path number two. For starters, we have the Empress out here, which is a good energy to have. Fertility, but in this deck, that's the Empress. We have Love Begins. Positive Movement Forward. Power, which is strength in this deck. Give me two more, Spirit. We have Memories of Love, which is the Six of Cups. Um, love Begins is the Ace of Cups. Eight. The positive movement forward is the Eight of Pentacles. And um, yeah, like I just said, the Memories of Love is the Six of Cups. And then we have spiritual strength, which is the nine of wands. We have destiny at the bottom of the deck, which is the will of fortune in this deck. So that's speaking to some things going in your favor, turning around if they are not in your favor right now. We're going to jump right into clarifying these. What is the Empress fertility slash Empress here for, Spirit? We have the Ten of Swords, the Fool, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You are, something has ended. And um, you are trapped in your head about moving forward about this new journey that you're wanting or needing to go on. But spirit is giving you the go to move forward. That's why the Empress is here. You are birthing something new. So spirit is asking for you to not be fearful about this new journey that you're embarking on is yours it belongs to you it would this was supposed to happen whatever ended was supposed to end so that you can go on this new journey that belongs to you that will bring something beautiful in into your life if this was a relationship what i just said does go it was supposed to end even we we do have this Six of Cups, deeper into the reading. So this may be someone that will return. But for now, what has ended is supposed to be over and you are getting ready to birth something new. Love Begins, which is the Ace of Cups. Why is it here, Spirit? We have the Four of Swords. So this feels like with this Empress and this um, Ace of Cups and this Four of Swords, is feeling like a journey of loving yourself. We have justice and we have the Ten of Swords again. We have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is something that has been very painful for you. It's, there may have been a betrayal within a relationship. It's been very painful, but justice is here. And that speaks to what has happened, what's supposed to, what has ended, what's supposed to. But you will also receive this happiness in return if you could just weather this storm. Give me one more for the Ace of Cups spirit, please. We have the Hierophant. There's some lessons that you're supposed to be learning from this 
the chariot. So spirit is really wanting you to just push forward. Um, not just push forward like this means nothing or it's just get up and move forward. Just do it. Um, really dig deep within to figure out the lessons that you are learning from this situation so that you can push forward. Nurture yourself. love yourself and as long as you love yourself you'll be able to push forward because you don't want anything when you love yourself you don't want anything bad for yourself as as well as when you love someone else so loving yourself consists of not wanting anything bad for yourself or not wanting to bring any type of harm to yourself and with that, you wouldn't want to keep yourself stuck in a place that doesn't grow you, that doesn't serve you. So it's going to be important for you to understand the lessons that you're taking from this situation that will grow you so that you can continue to love yourself and push forward with loving yourself. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Positive movement forward. The magician. And the four of wands. What else, spirit? We have the knight of cups. So you may be manifesting someone back into your life. In the world. Yes, that's an ending in a, in a brand new, beautiful beginning. So you may be trying to manifest this, this someone or just love itself back into your life. We have the nine of wands. So it's been very challenging if you are in separation from a person that you're trying to manifest back into your life. It's been very challenging. But it's looking like you're not willing to give up. You believe... If this is a um, a person, if you are a number two who believes that this person is your soulmate, you're not willing to give up. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as you are able to love yourself in the process. Um, it's showing that if you are going to pursue this person and you believe that this is your soulmate, it's going to take time. So you'll have to really be dedicated to the time that it will take more than the work. It will take, yes, yep. And and because of the time that it will take, you'll often be trapped in your thoughts and trapped in your head about this wish fulfillment or this in all be all. But if you are persistent in, in your beliefs and your faith, you will get what you want, yes. I'm about to go through the whole deck. I'm just, <laughs> I'm all, I'm reading through the whole deck. But yeah, it looks like you're manifesting this back, this, this, either this person, a particular person back into your life or just this new, really beautiful love. Okay. Why is strength here? So we have the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like I already read your whole reading by <laughs> looking through the whole deck. The Two of Cups and Judgment. So it's been challenging to release the burdens of the past, whether it be the past in which we're speaking of the things that happened in this particular relationship or just with you loving yourself and if you've done things that you may look back on that felt like you didn't love yourself enough. 
It also looks like you are willing to take accountability. This has been very challenging, but it looks like you are really willing to take accountability if there were things that you've done in the past in regards to this relationship or in regards to yourself and to love in regards to loving yourself. But as I said before, if you are manifesting this soulmate connection back into your life, it will take some time. Yes, it will take time for those of you who are in separation. And spirit is also asking for you to take your time as, as well as this connection coming back into place, taking time, take your time. Make sure that you're healing properly along the way and you're releasing burdens along the way so that when it does come into place, you are absolutely positively, most certainly ready for it. Okay, Memories of Love, the Six of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands. We have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. So as I said before, it's looking like you're willing to take it, to hold yourself accountable for anything that you've done in the relationship. The ways that you did and did not invest in it. Even in yourself, like I said, if this is just about you, you're taking accountability for the ways you did or didn't invest in your own personal self and your own personal growth. You're learning to rid of that inner conflict and just conflict itself. Taking control of your happiness. So, yeah, this, a lot of this reading is about accountability, releasing conflict so that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor later down the line. Spirit is wanting you to know that it's okay that you're still learning. That's totally fine. That's what you're here for. And whatever you're not, you feel like you don't have control of, is not for you to. Let that go. Let that sense of control go where you feel like you don't have it. It's not for you to have that control. You are in control of yourself, first and foremost, in the things that you do. Spiritual strength, which is the nine of wands. Spirit, why is it here? We have the queen of cups. The ace of pentacles. The five of swords. The seven of cups and the four of cups. We have strength at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So if there's a need for you to forgive self, do so. Work towards forgiving self for whatever actions you feel like 
held you back or didn't grow you or didn't put you in a place you feel like you should be in. You'll definitely have to forgive yourself. It's all a part of the lesson. It's all a part of what you're learning about yourself. If you are um, feeling guarded, if you're feeling really guarded, it will limit that sense of uh, stability that you're trying to bring in. Because there's a there's an opportunity for you that's available. And when I say an opportunity, it doesn't have to be with this, this person. It could just be your growth pertaining to your growth in in regards to your stability your long long term stability if you are feeling extremely guarded it may limit your options so just really focus on forgiving Others, not only others, but forgiving yourself for whatever you feel like didn't go the way you thought it would go or it you feel like it should have gone. That forgiveness is going to be important because you don't want to limit your options. You don't want to limit the opportunities that are coming in for you. Okay. And the wheel is going to turn in your favor with this wheel of fortune at the bottom of this deck. Divine abundance for life path number two spirit. Self-love, okay? I can't make this stuff up. I promise you I can't. Anything else, spirit? Individuality. Give me one more, please, Spirit. Intuition. Okay. Gratitude is at the bottom of the deck. So that's just really being grateful for any and everything. Self love. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. So yes, as I was saying in the beginning of the reading or just throughout the reading that it's very important to go through, thing, through things even just to learn to love yourself. We all have gone through... Um, a misunderstanding of love just as humans. I always say that we've grown up watching people say they love each other and hurt each other. And that's not love because when you love yourself, you will not cause harm to yourself. So also when you love someone else, you don't want to cause harm to them either. So just really loving yourself is it's where it starts. That cliche saying of you can't love someone else until you love yourself is, is so very true. It's so true. Not wanting to cause any harm to yourself. And it's okay to find out that you may have had a misunderstanding of love to begin with. That's what we are here for. We are here to grow, to learn as humans. Okay, individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. So 
just as well as your learning lessons, other people are too. Don't don't be so hard on yourself. Don't feel like hopefully you don't feel like the world's crashing down on you because there are other people learning lessons just as you are. And this this particular lesson is just for you. Intuition. Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. So really follow your intuition when it comes to this journey of self-love and loving yourself. Wow, okay. Any star sea oracles for life path number two? Right away. <laughs> Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. So really just taking your time with your growth and, and with your lesson. is really, there's no rush. You are not running out of time. I'm going to read from the book just so that I have the clearest form of the message. Look, time on earth goes slower than on other planets. This may cause frustration for star seeds who can expect a faster pace of manifestation and thus give up before the seeds begin to sprout. If you resonate with that, it's time to opt for consistency over urgency. Didn't we talk about this in the beginning of the reading? <laughs> Time to take baby steps in the direction of your calling. To remember that you don't need to have it all figured out or know exactly where the path is leading you. You don't have to know every single step along the way before you set out on your great journey. You just need to take the step, the next step. Earth, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. All right. Those who tend toward eminence have attached themselves more to earth in their body. They spend more time thinking about things in the physical world rather than connecting with the heavens or their own mystical inner worlds. Being a fully embodied soul, having a human experience means finding the balance between transcendence and eminence. Being in the world, but not of it. Most star seeds are drawn toward transcendence. They're more comfortable with the angels in the heavens. Life on earth can be more difficult for them. If this is you, you're being reminded that you choose to be a soul and a body on earth. And you're being called to focus more on your of your energies in the physical world to learn how to be human, a soul in a body, fully present to what life on earth has to offer you. Okay, so life path number two, I really wish many blessings to you on your journey of self-love. Y'all tend to um, dive into connections not dive into connections like very quickly or just give you know yourself quickly not in that sense but dive into connections to where you will hush yourself sometimes or not be able to focus so much on yourself sometimes because number twos are all about love and all about duality and companionship so y'all really put a lot of y'all energy towards that and sometimes forget to love on yourself to the best of your ability. So many blessings on your journey. And um, I'm hoping that you can really just love on yourself a whole lot. <laughs> a whole, whole lot. That is all that I have for your reading life path number two. And until next time, come again.